Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. Hey, today we're gonna put a crank in and we're not gonna tear the engine apart. I'm gonna show you how to do it, so stay tuned. Okay, today we're putting a crank in. Now, I've already got the crank in it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, I'm gonna tell you how to do it, okay? First of all, you have your, if, you, if you've broken your crank and you're able to get it out, because of two pieces, it'll come right out without a problem now this is the new crank I got in the mail thank you sterling kit and uh, now you got your rod caps and your rods all right so here's what I did you number them you take them out and you set them like back to front all four of them line them up all right push all your pistons down to the very top of the cylinder head make sure your timing mark is still pointed down like so okay because it's going to move your valves up and down you see what i'm saying so when you push them all the way down okay and you got all your caps lined up over there slowly start turning the crank in now this rod cap second from the back okay and third from the front would be number three you're gonna to have to turn that sideways just turn it sideways just a little bit to get the counterweight of the crank the opening of the counterweight here these openings you got the wide end and then you got the narrow end you want the narrow end to come through just on the edges of all the rod um, rods in the in the block and when you get to number three as this is coming in over here this has to be down so if you turn that rod just to the side, slip it by, and then take like a screwdriver or something or an Allen wrench and make sure the, all the rods are free in there and then slightly tap this forward into the seal into the front over here. Now when you're done, take a, like a screwdriver or something and wiggle that rod back around so all of your all of your little half moons right there see that little shiny spot right there are all facing the same direction whether they're forward or backwards however you put yours together because I put mine together all facing forward so then just put these in like so tighten it up and then now when you uh, when you after you get your crank all in okay here's what I did I had mine when I come in I turned them so the two the two centers are facing down on top of the rod what I did was I temporarily screwed in my rod caps on there okay and then I turned it okay like so now see the back is loose so you can move it up and down I turned it down and then I took the front and the back cap and I temporarily bolted them to this too now it pulls the piston back up so you got you put on two caps in the center turn your crank 180 degrees come back put your two on the front and the back and then you can you've got them connected there now you can tighten up your two centers turn it back like so <clears throat> then you can tighten up your front and your rear and now your cranks in and ready to go and make sure you use a little loctite in there I used a little uh, oil on my on my raw journals as I put it in there now the front's already in so now you can assemble the back and you do not have to take the cylinder head off or anything you can just gingerly wiggle this thing you can keep turning it as you get it in there to get it by the rods turn number three sideways to get it by that counterweight once it's once you've got the front seal in here push the seal in and then you'll have to kind of tap it the rest of the way real simple tap it in that'll save you from ordering head gaskets and you know spending all the time to tear this thing apart but I had my timing marked down 
just like it should be turn that sideways after I got the crank in there everything went right in <clears throat> now it's in <clears throat> I'll finish lock tighten my rods and oil in it and I'll put my back bearing on it and then I'll tighten up the front counter screw that Toyin suggested we do and we'll go from there so any questions comments hit me up in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.